start with um, how the canvases are going to be inserted into the space, and I was just wondering how the process goes or starts. Right. Which comes first, the paintings mm -hmm. or the installation? Uh, I basically look at both the, the site and the artwork that I've been doing uh, simultaneously. And so when the viewer comes into the space, they're going to f feel one with the work as they're coming into the space. The, the paintings will relate to the site-specific installation and vice versa. So it's my hope that the viewer will, will feel like they're coming into the belly of the work, mm -hmm. almost like walking into a canvas. And so basically what I do is I look at all the arches, the outlets, and everything within that architectural space, and I treat it as like a drawing. So I'm really responding to the space, and um, just as I would a painting. This is the little a wall of all the sketches and ideas for the Blackout ex Exhibition. This is the Englehart Court space, and you can see these beautiful large arches are about 18 feet high, uh, 10 and a half feet wide. And here are some sketches. The starting point of a lot of this work, selecting the, the right uh, the painting for, for, uh, for the installation. And basically what I'm, I want to do here is I want to pull out all the arch colors into the artwork so the paintings work hand in hand. Here you can see this image against a pink wall and that's exactly how you'd see it in a space. And when I'm in the subway or taking a train, um, I'm, I'm working on in little pieces of paper, scraps of paper of all my little drawings here, and maybe I'll I'll use one of those for the for for an artwork. Here you can see the arches and some ideas, you know, for the paintings. Right. And what was the point when you started to work to kind of step out of the canvas into the space? Um, that was back in 98. Uh, it was for an exhibition in, that I had at Karen Golden Fine Arts. I felt kind of restrained just painting a traditional format canvas, and I wanted to break out of that format. I felt that the, the painting needed a life beyond the perimeters of the canvas. So I decided to paint a large fleshy tome square shape onto the walls of the space at the gallery and merged a large canvas into that. And so that's how that came about, just having this dialogue between space and canvas. How did you arrive at the at your kind of biomorphic uh, kind of language? Was there an evolution like out of one language to another? Well, in, I guess in, in the late 80s, I came down with this illness called Lyme's disease in New Jersey. I decided to um, do a series of drawings based on how I felt internally and externally from this illness. After creating hundreds of drawings, the work kind of started to become very internal and biomorphic in, in, in form. And uh, it was through adding color that the work became animated and playful mm -hmm. and became a signature work of mine. And I was wondering if there was maybe another way to look at the work, tying the kind of sensu sensuality or playfulness to production or economy even? I think the work deals with um, the geometrics and the biomorphics at, at this point. Mm -hmm. And I think what you see is this kind of this machine, this, this kind of moving and pulling of gears and forms. And, and the execution of the work, it's very tight and clean and crisp. Uh, it almost looked like it's a silk screen or it's manufactured, but uh, the work deals with cause and effects and still it's uh, very influenced by the body. Uh, this is a black form, this is a brown form, and they're pushing these other little baby forms, and so it's just a continuation of the biomorphic forms, except it's minimal and geometric in um, its presentation at the moment. All the paintings start off from tiny little sketches, so uh, that's actually the, the, the heart of it, mm -hmm. uh, of the starting point. So I'll end up drawing dozens and dozens of drawings until I can really find the one that really, that feels right to me. And for this exhibition at the Newark Museum, I selected three paintings that I felt that really worked, worked together uh, as part of a a series for this installation, mm -hmm. and uh, so it really comes from sketching, and then from the sketching goes into various other processes. 
I like to take pictures, tape them all up, draw on them, and what I'm going to do in the space, you can see here there's lighting, beautiful chandeliers, and I'm just going to change out all the lights to, to mimic all the colors that are in the paintings and that mimic the arch colors as mm -hmm. well. I decided to just remove the walls. We're just going to have the spaces open so you can look into the court space from all directions and see just mm -hmm. rainbows of color. Anything that comes in, in close contact to the arch yeah. color is painted that color. Like the railings become lines. And the railings become lines, becomes... yes. Anything around that space is just washed in that color. And how did you come up with the name um, for the show? Blackout? Uh, you know, the, uh, there's a, the space is a beautiful square space, and it has a wonderful gray uh, ceiling with a huge skylight. And I'm playing with all kinds of colors and, uh, you know, and, and various elements in the space, and I thought that the, the best color that would really tie in to the, the ceiling would be black. And it also carries the black thought an idea that I'm introducing in my chunk exhibition in 2007 into the space. The black shape around the perimeter of the walls spill over the arches. There's 12 monumental arches, mm -hmm. drip onto the floor, and I'm blacking out the space and blacking out the walls just as I'm blacking out this space. And I'm, tight, I'm really come tighten the, the, the surface. Typically you would see a lot of white in most of my paintings, but I decided to really bring in the Impressed. color and black out all the white space. And so that's what I'm doing with the Blackout Exhibition. Mm -hmm. And also, when you come into the space, I think people are going to be totally surprised and jarred by the colors. And it's almost going to be a, a blackout experience. It's, it's punctuated and layered with all kinds of various ideas about blackouts. So oh, this is the heart of the work. This is where, I, where it all starts. Literally, I have hundreds of these sketchbooks. And you know, ideas for installations, and, um, and it just it just goes on and on and on. But at least you get a sense of you know where it all comes right. from. And a lot more loose than yeah, and very on. loose. And basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create create the uh, the spontaneity of the drawings onto the canvas.